So I'm going to call up my panel to come join me up here. It's lonely up here. <laughs> well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Foundation Forum. I'm really pleased and thrilled that I've been able to participate over the past several weeks in preparing for tonight's forum as the moderator for the panel presentation on grants. Tonight's topics cover three district grants and three global grants. And I'm very excited to say that you are in for a special treat. This panel presentation is sure to excite, inspire, and hopefully inform you about the power of Rotary and the possibilities with a Rotary Foundation grant. By way of just a minute of background, um, last month we used the same panel format at the membership forum and it was really well received and got a lot of positive feedback. And quite frankly, what it allows for is for you to hear about grants and the foundation from other members on the ground in various clubs across our district. Our goal here, as Roy said and Steve, is to engage you, not to lecture to you about the ABCs of the grant process, but rather by letting you hear firsthand from the folks in the trenches, so to speak, who are currently involved in either a district or a global grant with their club. I'm genuinely honored and humbled to be sharing the stage right now with these six panelists. They are each committed and passionate Rotarians who are giving enormous amounts of their time and resources to their club's project. Gentlemen and madam, I'm honored to be on this stage with you. Thank you. I have to tell you that when we first started recruiting last month for volunteers to participate in the membership forum, responses were not really slow, but one here, one there, and it took about a week, and after that we had reached a critical mass of seven panelists. By comparison, for this panel, the very day we announced we were recruiting for volunteers to participate on this grant panel, it was like floodgates opened. I had more than six panelists willing to participate within several hours over email. I could virtually hear folks saying, pick me, pick me, I want to share my club story. These folks are oozing and effervescing with their story. They can hardly wait to get up here and tell you. Now it's no surprise to me that this topic elicited such an eager and passionate response from so many volunteers across the district. After all, the stuff of grants, the successful implementation of a project, isn't that one of our most important roles that we play as Rotarians? This is the stuff that puts a smile on your face. These are the stories that might put a tear in your eye. This is where we bring joy not only to others that we are helping, but to ourselves as well. This is where we self-actualize. This is when you're driving into a town and you see that sign that says, Rotary Project Sponsored by Wachusett Rotary Club, Montachusett Rotary Club, Framingham, and so forth. You get that little feeling in your gut like a starburst going off. Wow, I'm really proud to be a Rotarian. When I asked one person on this panel, how does it make you feel to participate in your club's grant process and project? That person said, it electrifies me. You'll hear tonight from Rotarians who will tell you about how their project has united Rotarians from four different countries. Another project involves 16 different clubs from our district and neighboring districts who shared in the funding. One of the panelists told me that he believes his project is helping world peace. This is where the impossible comes to be. This is service above self. So what we plan to do here is share for six minutes each and I should back up and tell you that they could each talk for 60 minutes, so I will stop them if they start to go over. Their story of their particular grant, and then a few sound bites from each one, and then we'll break out into table discussions. And each of you at your table 
will share with everyone else what your club is currently either working on or considering working on. So the goal here is these folks are going to get you energized, all revved up, all excited, so that your creative juices start flowing and when it's your time you are just going to be oozing and effervescing just as they are. Sound like a plan? All right, so before we start, I want to share two other little insights with you. This group and I rehearsed for tonight, and so I've had the benefit of already hearing all but one of the presentations. And as I've said before, these folks are really prepared. They're going to paint a very inspiring picture for you of their project. But think about this. We recognize, as was already said, that we are preaching to the converted. Probably almost everyone in this room is either in district leadership, president or foundation chair of their club, or in some way already involved in a project. So all of you already believe everything they're going to say. So here's what we need you to do. We need you to take this message back to your clubs. Take the energy, take the excitement, take the intensity, take whatever it is that you get out of this back to your club and share it. Tell your club about what you learned tonight and what you heard. Even better, if you think you want to share it with one of the panelists, invite them to come to one of your meetings as a weekly speaker and tell your club firsthand about their project. Spread this energy to others. Second, I have to share with you one amazing observation. As I said, we all rehearsed ahead of time. And so when I asked each person on the panel to share with me what they were planning to say tonight, to a person, and I mean this, each one started off with the same words. Well, let me start by saying that we could not have gotten our grant and done this project without the amazing stewardship of either Ralph Hammond or Roy Balfour, or both. So that says something about the amazing leadership we have at the district level regarding foundations. So a collective thank you for your stewardship, Ralph and Roy. Very nice. 